So on a focal point of your Hogwarts Legacy playthrough in regards to progression is something very important to the player. This is the hub, this is the tracker, this is your guide to the game when playing and today guys I will tell you everything you need to know about the Wizards Field Guide. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Wizards Field Guide is the centerpiece of progression within Hogwarts Legacy. This hub will tell you everything you need to know about your progression while playing. But it's more than just that. It's a place you check your inventory, your level, your challenges, absolutely everything. So on screen now you can see the Wizards Field Guide menu. This is brought up by simply pressing pause on your controller. But a little backstory I guess to help you understand why you have this. Players enter the Hogwarts Legacy narrative as a late entry fifth year student. So there's a lot of catching up for you to do in regards to learning about magic etc etc. This particular field guide is a gift from the Ministry of Magic that Hogwarts has given the player in order for them to basically acquaint themselves with the school. So yeah, like I said, it's basically you're playing catch up and the wizard's field guide is here to help you out. So pausing brings up this guide. So let's go through each section here, each page, each card. First, we have the overall level. Now level progress comes through earning XP which is given out to you, I believe, in combat, progress in the game, story, quests, etc, etc. Just how you would imagine. But it's also given out to you in finding secrets like collectibles and more. Also notice the house crest on the level icon and on the wizard's field guidebook as well. It's pretty cool. Next up guys we have the map. Now I've made a video talking about this and this game's scale in regards to the open world beyond Hogwarts. And what no doubt this does is reveal the true scale, which is something we have yet to see as I make this video. Yes, there's been hints, there's been clues, but actual confirmation on the map size we are missing. We then have quests, which is self-explanatory. This tab no doubt beholds progress on the main quest, which is said to be an engaging story based around the fact we as a player will come to find that we possess the unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. This forgotten magic is now returning and the player will have to uncover who or what could be beyond the resurgence of this old power, as well as discover those who might be seeking to harness it for their own purposes. But beyond this guys, Hogwarts Legacy is an RPG and offers way more quests, fully voice quests, which can be found everywhere in the castle and no doubt beyond. Each quest has multiple choices for player to choose from, this meaning the game has multiple endings and it's said that almost every player's quest decision matters. It brings a unique experience for every player and it means the game has huge replayability. And this tab, this quest tab, beholds everything we need to know about each quest we do progress. We then have our post, which is a system we don't exactly know how it works, but I'd imagine just like any in-game messaging system, going off the original books and the movies, we get a gist of what's going on here. This is where we will be notified on certain instances of progression, tied into things we are doing, seeking out, or even yet to find within Hogwarts. Next up we have the settings tab, which I don't think I need to explain. We then have the challenges tab. Now this is a tab we do we see inside. This is a page or card we do see inside. And as you can see here on screen, there are five further tabs within this challenges tab, which basically show uh, an overall progression for the player within Hogwarts. We have combat challenges, quests, exploration, field guide pages, one we have seen a couple being collected within the few gameplay reviews we have had, and we also have the room of requirements tab, which we do know will be a hefty one due to the amount that can be done here. This I am really looking forward to exploring more. Progression has always been something I love completing, especially when it's there on show for you to check out on the fly. We then have the collections tab. Now like the pages we have seen being collected around Hogwarts via these reveals, there are collectibles within the game and there are many many things for you to find. Now once said pages are found, I don't know if it triggers something else within the collections tab, meaning you can unlock or even progress said things further, or if you are rewarded for collecting a set amount, a group to lot, but I'd imagine there are collectibles scattered around the entirety of the open world map within Hogwarts 
legacy. So the next tab is the talents tab. Uh, again, we have seen inside of this page. So our talents are where we obviously upgrade ourselves as a player, as things we can use to help us along the way. Now, if we can't quickly, it seems that there are 50 talents for us to upgrade here, and we use talent points to unlock them. Now, I first thought when we level up, we would get a talent point. But looking at this screen here, we can see the player is a level 12, yet there are 15 of these talents unlocked. And well, that really doesn't add up. So there could be another system in which we use to earn talent points. I can't confirm that yet. Okay, so the first two cards on the left of this page, we actually don't see what these are. But if I had to guess, I'd say the first one represents spells due to its color blue. And as we know, this is almost always associated with mana and magic in other RPGs. So that's what I'd imagine the first one is. The second one I'd guess would be something to do with gear upgrades of some sort. Now uh, starting from the far right, because these we do know, uh, we have the Room of Requirement. This is now our home within Hogwarts and consists of basically our go-to to upgrade, craft, brew, raise and much more in regards to our player progression. We then have Stealth, where these abilities improve your ability to sneak around unseen, which is cool. We then have Core, these talents improve our overall effectiveness as a witch or wizard so the talents tab is basically where we upgrade ourselves to progress further in this game next up we have our inventory card this we don't see inside but i'd imagine it consists of things we found collected or even farmed to craft create or brew things would take back to the room of requirement things used to make those spells for those tools which help us in battle and much much more and probably even items to progress the story quests and things of that nature and lastly guys we have the gear tab this is of no doubt a place where we switch in and out our gear we find upgrade or even created a point in which we know is heavily customizable so that the player can play the game the way they want to play but again this is a tab we haven't yet seen inside so I'm just going off instinct here. But there we have it guys. That is what we know about so far of the Wizards Field Guide. If any more news drops surrounding this or anything else Hogwarts related, I will have you covered right here on my channel. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps us out. If you think I've missed out anything important other players should know, please leave a comment down below. And hopefully guys, I'll see you on that next one.